I have just recently tried to kick the caffeine habit. Mm. I've had caffeine withdrawal headaches. Uh, and because of that, I feel some empathy for those of you who might also be suffering from that. So we have some tips for how to get through the week or two of caffeine withdrawal headaches. The first is fairly obvious. If you can't deal with the pain, just sleep it off. Take a nap. Like, I don't know, I mean, maybe you have classes, maybe you have work and you can't do this, but just spend as high a percentage of the time asleep as possible, and that way you're not actually experiencing the pain. That may seem a little bit silly. Do you think, so I don't really, I don't really know, so I want to hear from your personal experience. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's worthwhile to, like, let's say you're having four cups of coffee a day. Do you think it's worthwhile to, like, gradually cut it out? Like, first I'll just have two, and then I'll have one, and then I'll have none. Mm -hmm. Or do you think it's like you kind of got to quit it cold turkey, if you're trying to detox or whatever, get the get rid of the caffeine headaches, you just okay. got it. Nix it. I've done it both ways. Uh, generally, uh, I'll tell myself, well, you know, I'll just gradually go off. But I think that's actually my way of secretly having caffeine for a few more days. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, even if you go like the two cups, one cup, half cup, when you have that first day with nothing, you're going to have a headache. Yeah. Just have a slightly stronger one and get it done sooner, I think. Yeah. Well, I think it would probably be easier, too, if you're telling yourself, like, well, I'll just have two. Once you've had any, mm -hmm. it's easier to be like, well, I'll just have a little more. Whereas yeah. if you're just like, no, none, I can't have any, then you're like not even making the pot yeah. of coffee. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, obviously, you're going to want to take some painkillers, but you have to be careful which ones you take. So something like Tylenol, aspirin, ibuprofen, something like that is perfectly fine. But I have accidentally undercut my efforts to get off of caffeine in the past by taking things like Excedrin, which, which actually have caffeine, caffeine in, in yeah. them. So that can <laughs> help you a little bit, but if you're trying to get over it, like avoid that because I've done that. I've also, by the way, had cravings for things like... Uh, uh, the Heath coffee toffee crunch oh, ice, cream ice cream thing from Wendy's and as a meeting I'm like oh shit this is caffeine and yeah. then you're like but it's yeah, all but good it's, uh, but it's delicious <laughs> um, so be careful what types of painkillers you take something else you can get near your counter is water by the way uh, you definitely want to have as much water as possible uh, one of the things I think that causes the caffeine withdrawal headaches is dehydration um, people don't realize how dehydrated they're getting so uh, make sure that you have as much water as possible also eating well in general will help you the vitamins and minerals will help you get through the hardest part of it um, another thing you can do, peppermint tea. I've never tried this, but apparently there's something inherent in peppermint that's huh. like a natural remedy for these sorts of, Interesting. of things. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if it turned out that the natural thing that's in it is caffeine? Caffeine. <laughs> yeah. But as far as we know, that's not true, so that, that's one thing that you consider. Also, if you have the resources or if you have a willing boyfriend or girlfriend, a massage can help. That's just a natural pain relieving sort of thing. You uh, can do. Uh, yeah? Uh. I have like this terrible headache, Lisa. Oh, it's so hard getting over caffeine. We'll see about yeah, that Yeah, I'm going to just have to suffer for a few yeah. days, apparently. Awkward. And also, by the way... Well, um, that got awkward real the, quick. The last tip... That is quite quickly. Uh, the last <laughs> tip is if you have pain anywhere in your body, one way that you can get over it is by distracting your body with pain in another part of your body. So they suggest the pinch trick where you pinch here as hard as you can. Um, if you're having a bad enough headache, that might not work. So I'm going to suggest something I saw in Game of Thrones. Um, take a very thin blade and slowly slip it under one of your nails. Oh my gosh, stop. I thought you were Don't being actually serious. do that. I'm basically over it, thankfully. Like, it was a hard road. It was a rough week for me, too. I was John like, was ignoring me. I was me. tired on the phone he with her, and she's totally exaggerating. I cried I'm sorry a little. if I was cranky. 